Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the connection between GERD or reflux and IBS. My name is Suzanne Perazzini and I am the author of two low FODMAP cookbooks and I'm the creator of the Inspired Life Low FODMAP coaching program. Through my conversations with people with IBS, I found a definite connection between GERD and reflux and this has been shown in studies as well. According to a 2009 study published in the Digestive Diseases and Sciences, a first diagnosis of either IBS or GERD significantly increases the risk of a subsequent diagnosis of the other condition. Now the coexistence suggests that the two conditions may share a common disease mechanism. Now just to clarify about GERD, reflux, it's a disease that can significantly damage the esophagus over time. What happens is that the stomach acids come up into the esophagus because of the esophageal sphincter muscle, which normally holds them down, is not functioning well and that lets the acids come back up. Now many people take antacids for reflux but and, and this gives some initial relief, of course, but over time that could be actually aggravating the underlying condition. And on top of that, the antacids are lowering your stomach acids. Sometimes it, they can lower it to such a degree that it loses its ability to fight bacterial infections. And it's quite widely recognized now that bacterial infection can cause ulcers. So it's a very good idea to look out for that as well. Now, if you both GERD and IBS symptoms know that you are not alone. In fact, some estimates of the coexistence of the two are really quite high. 79% um, of those with an IBS symptoms also have GERD symptoms. And 71% of people with GERD also have IBS um, symptoms. Now, that's just talking about the symptoms, of course. The, as far as diagnosis is concerned, in studies where the diagnosis of GERD was confirmed, the number who also had IBS symptoms was between 24% and 35%. Now, it kind of seems like a double whammy that you get both of these, but as we said, you are not alone. I've got several clients in my low FODMAP coaching program who have both. And what I do for them is I adapt the low FODMAP diet to accommodate their reflux and both the reflux symptoms and the IBS, IBS symptoms disappear on that diet. All right, thank you for listening. I make two videos a week on IBS and the low FODMAP diet. And if you haven't already, you could subscribe to my channel or you could give it a thumbs up, this video a thumbs up if you've liked it or perhaps even leave a comment. Thank you for watching and goodbye.